If you're anything like me, sometimes you just want to get out of the house, but you don't want the expense of an entire restaurant meal, and you want something a little bit more intimate than the local pub for good coffee, cake and conversation. Why not try a dessert bar? They're gaining momentum here in Adelaide, and for good reason. Last year, we took you to Eggless Devour and Stephen to Horst's Chocolate, and there's no sign of this trend diminishing, so let's investigate a few more. We'll start with a slice of France in Hutt Street. The sweet offerings at Au Matin Calm have that certain je ne sais quoi that's guaranteed to bring you back. Everything is baked daily on the premises and beautifully presented. French pastries are my absolute weakness and it seems like I'm not alone in this. The almond croissants and lemon tarts often sell out, so take my tip, get in early and sneak upstairs to enjoy one with a coffee. Thank you, yum. If you're time poor and you've agreed to make a dessert for the next dinner party or you just want to take something to your friend's house, ditch the box of chocolates and come into Au Matin Calm for a beautifully crafted pastry or cake. Look at these, your friends will be seriously impressed. At my next stop, the desserts here are to food, what Vogue is to fashion, on trend, stylish and alluring. Now look at these works of art. Have you ever seen anything so intricate? Shopping at this place is like being at an exclusive jeweller. Very sophisticated with so much visual temptation. Yeah, the face reaction is great. I mean, it's all wow. It looks amazing. It looks too good to eat, but it's always good to eat. <laughs> And the idea is to bring, to, to bring the jewellery and fashion into a suite. That's the whole idea. Yazana Keel, the owner of Dolce in Gilbert Street, grew up around sugary treats because his parents owned five sweet shops in Jordan. In Adelaide now these past 11 years, Yazan's happy to carry on the family tradition. Like fashion, this sweet collection is ever-changing, but apparently some people can't resist a classic. It's going to have to be the hazelnut crunch. Is, uh, it is definitely the most popular. Okay. And if we don't have it, we are in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, an oldie but a goodie. A place that you might not necessarily associate with desserts, but is well worth checking out. A question I often get is, Kelly, I've got friends coming from interstate, where should I take them? Well, if they're foodie by nature, bring them here to the Hilton Adelaide. They've got the seriously South Australian menu, where everything on the list, including the desserts, and this, the Hague's Chocolate Martini, features produce sourced from right here in South Australia. Now, excuse me, I cannot resist the urge any longer. I have to eat this. With 23 years in the game, executive sous chef John McKeague is more than qualified to whip up these mouth-watering masterpieces. Mm, that is good. So don't forget the brasserie here at the Hilton for those times when you want to show someone an all-round taste of South Australia, savoury and sweet.